In this video, I'm going to explain what circular dependency errors are in Google Sheets. I'm going to explain what a circular dependency detected error means and how to fix these in Google Sheets. So a circular dependency detected error is a type of reference error that means Google is unable to calculate your formula because of a circular dependency. So when you have a circular dependency error, you're going to see something like this. You'll enter a formula and the formula will return a reference error. And when you hover over the reference error, you're going to see this error circular dependency detected message. So a circular dependency error is caused by the input of the formula depending on the output of the formula. So this is really the key with any kind of circular dependency error is the input of your formula depends on the output of your formula. And so what you will get is this error message. So in this example here, I have two errors. And the reason I have these errors, if we look at this formula, this first one is A2 plus C2. And the second one is B2 plus C2. So this formula needs C2 to calculate but C2 needs B2 to calculate. So what you get is a circular dependency error because B2 depends on C2 and C2 depends on B2. So basically each formula depends on the output of itself and what you will get is a reference error. So if you have this kind of error, the only way to fix it is you have to change the parameters of your formula here so that it is no longer needing its own output to, uh, to calculate the formula, essentially. So let's look at some other common examples that might cause this error. So here, just to illustrate this even further, I have this basic math formula set up that's going to add a2 plus b2 together but the problem is b2 is the cell that the formula is in so you get a circular dependency detected error because i can't use b2 to calculate this when this cell is b2 because it depends on itself to calculate the formula so that doesn't work so the only way to fix this would be i have to put this in another spot if I'm going to do a2 plus b2 the formula will have to be in a different spot so I have it over here now so that is another common reason that you'll get this error is that you have the same cell in the parameters of your formula up here so let's look at this in a different example. So in this example, I have a simple count function. I'm going to count these, but if you notice, in the parameters of this formula, I have B3. This is B3. So B3 is where the formula is. So this is a circular dependency error because in order to calculate this now, I need to have the output of this formula because that's the input here. So that doesn't work. So if you have this error, again, check the parameters of any function or formula that you have and make sure that it does not have a reference to its own cell or any formula that depends on this same cell because that will cause an error. So to fix this, I'm just going to remove that part of the parameter so it's no longer referencing the cell range that includes itself and then it's going to fix that so that is really again the key with these circular dependency errors is you have something in the formula that depends on the same cell where the formula is and that just does not work so hopefully that illustrated what that is for you if you were having troubles with that if you have any questions as always just let me know in the comments Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.